Good afternoon, I'm John Burwell III, 2763 Windsor Parkway, Memphis, Tennessee, 38127. I uh, come before the city council because of uh, some disturbing um, things that are going on with the installation of the smart meters. Um, currently, Apex is now installing smart meters and they are leaving green door knockers on people's properties, uh, stating that the smart meters have been installed. Um, personally, I was at MLG and W's office in Millington last week seeking to opt out of uh, having smart meters installed on my property, and I was turned away because I had not received a postcard from MLG and W. Um, I'm on the radio several times a month. And um, it's a radio talk show. And we get calls from uh, people from all over the county who are having smart meters installed on their properties. They are not being, uh, they're not receiving postcards from MLG and W. And um, just last week, a woman called up and she stated that representatives from Apex came to her property to install, what, install what's now being called enhanced meters. And she was told if she did not accept the smart meter that she would receive an additional $24 a month on her MLG and W bill. So I'm just uh, asking that the city council uh, be mindful of the resolution that the city council approved last fall uh, giving the uh, ratepayers of MLG and W the right to opt out at any time for no cost, be that pre or post installation of the smart meters. And I'm asking that um, the sanctity of my home not be violated and that I be given the opportunity to protect my family by not having the smart meter installed on my property and that my fellow ratepayers be given that same opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. And if you want to see our staff here at the end, we'll make sure we get your name, we'll get your name and address and make sure we get your concerns addressed. Okay. Can I respond? Ms. Full of. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. I'm so very glad you brought that up. I just spoke with uh, the chair of Memphis Light Gas and Water, who's had a somewhat of a tragedy has happened, but she's back in the back. But we're going to have a, meet, a committee meeting two weeks from today with uh, President Collins. Now, I have been bombarded with not only emails, but phone calls and my neighbors coming by that they have been threatened if they have not if they don't get one installed, they have been told that it's going to be an extra, extra monies on their bill. Uh, I had my assistant contact the president. He said that none of those things were true. And I know that people cannot come up with the same story from different parts of the city. So we're going to try to get to the bottom of this one way or the other with these smart meters. And if people don't want them, they should be able to opt out. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I just wanted to share that information. And so in two weeks, we will hear that in Councilwoman uh, Patrice Robinson's committee. Thank you, Ms. Foloff. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Brother Brody? Walter Brody here? There he is. 